Education is freedom. Having your brain unshackled by the restraints of our of our infrastructures, of our government, of our society, of our institutions, that is true freedom. Yes, you can want economic freedom, maybe time freedom. But what does any of that mean if your mind isn't free? If your mind isn't able to see the truth, if your mind isn't able to truly and fully think for itself and just really live your life to your true fullest. So otherwise, it you, it's very cringe. But you, it could be like the red, uh, red pill, blue pill. Take the blue pill and be happy and ignorant. The red pill, be maybe less happy. Know the truth. Be living your true, your true life. You can see the world for how it really is. Is you can see how everything connects and it all blends together to make this beautifully twisted tapestry that is our world that is especially america you see all the different shades of gray and of red and of blue and of white you can see all of them mixed together to form this beautiful beautiful mix and it's not just me that believes this i've talked to many people many very educated people as one she has even she's written a book and she's ran for like even positions in Congress, and also a state senator, they've all, all of them, they've all said education. Education is the way we, we free ourselves. Education is how we solve all of our world's issues. It's how we stop so many things. It's how we stop racism, sexism, all of this, all these forms of discrimination and separation. It's by being educated. It's by seeing why they do these things, how they do these things. All the motives, all the everything. Oh God, it's so hard to really say. It's, it's... You can read through all the dog whistles. You can hear the direct words they say, and what they really mean when they say we're cutting taxes and doing forced busing. You can hear. We're making it harder for black and brown people. We're making it so there's less social services. You can hear what they're really meaning. What they're really saying. It's also how we not only stop the bad, but how we move forward. It's how we progress. That's why we as humans are different. Not just our cerebral cortex. But the biggest part of our cerebral cortex, I argue, is the education part. Is the fact that we, while we only live a relatively short amount of time, we can keep going and going and going and going with books, with learning, with education, with teaching. We can keep going and going and going. We can learn from those of the past by being educated, by educating ourselves and of learning things. That's how we keep going forward. That's how we'll all keep going forward. That's how you make yourself better and smarter by learning and never stopping. We can progress past all these, these systematic oppressions and these arbitrary rules that we live by that are just stupid. Like why live by them? They're pointless. They're stupid. As well as, once you learn the past, you know the future, basically. Once you really see the way that the past relates, you really start to see a lot of it in the future. You hear those same dog whistles. You hear the same exact lines being peddled over and over and over and over and over again. Like the other videos, videos I've talked about, like the idea of self-responsibility or and as polarizing and as controversial as it is trump and the idea like hitler or the caste system so they do talk some it you need to disconnect this idea that hitler is just the holocaust hitler is also the things before the holocaust how he united his people against other people trump does i mean that's how chain away six happened he incited that shit but that's for another story and for more educating i need to first fully educate myself I can really fully speak on it. With all this education in mind, I think it's also, I just need to say it. What I teach, what I will be teaching, what I'll continue to teach is very different from what most people teach. Especially in this sphere I'm in, everyone's teaching basically the same exact things. How to eat better, how to exercise, how to get girls, yada, 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 yada. No one's teaching how politics works, how the world works, how how history relates to the present, 
how slavery is still alive and present in the United States, how we live in a caste system in America in the year 2023, how it's been proven, and how people like MLK were called untouchables by Indian untouchables. They knew it then. We got to learn it now. We got to realize now that we are still untouchables. We live in a caste system. I will be teaching you all about these very important things as well as many, 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 many. And I guess you could say I'm also fairly, somewhat qualified. I'm only 18, but I've learned a lot. I spent basically my entire adult life learning this. I spent hundreds of hours over the last few months learning about history, of race, politics, and just you know, politics in general. I'm also educated. And you could say, like, oh, taking college classes, I do take a lot about this sort of stuff, but. That's, I think, less important than the true learning I've done. I know a lot about this. And, I mean, if anyone wants to learn more, I'd be, I love to teach people. I'd be definitely willing to teach any of y'all. But I just think, I just know that we need to start being more educated. We need to start learning and look, like I said, more critically. we got to question everything. Even question me. Question what I'm saying. Question my motives as well. Don't just question other people. Question everything. You don't. Just listening to one person or one source is a surefire way to get complacent and to not progress forward. Gotta keep on going up. Gotta keep on moving. Gotta keep on growing forever and ever and ever and ever until we die. And then we can maybe have children grow from where we started and they're starting to advance and keep growing and growing and growing. And then the cycle continues and we just get higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. That's what we need. That is why we need education. That is why we need to fix the education system. Why we need to educate ourselves now. Why we need to re-educate. Because we need to change our future now. Because you can't change the past. But you can change. But you can make the future. And I have seen my future. I know what my future looks like. I know her name. I hope you're watching. I know my future. I want to show you all your future. I want to melt your eyes so you can see your future.